Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nengi's Kitchen. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare your ngolo for your soup. You can use ngolo for your soup. You can use it for your sauces. You can use it to put in anything you are cooking. Of course, things that have pepe. <laughs> things that have pepe. So, ngolo is called whelk in English. W-H-E-L-K in English. But of course, there are usually more than one. You won't buy one ngolo now. So, it is called whelks. Whelks, plural. You add an S. So, ngolo is sold in Nigerian markets. It is called ngolo. That's what it's called in Portacot and in Lagos. I'm so sure of that. So, this is how to clean ngolo, how to prepare it for your soup before you use it. You don't just put it like that. You use a knife and then cut, cut out that. There's a part I'll cut out now. Just look at it. Now, see this part. I'll cut it out with the knife. Exactly. As I'm cutting it like, cutting it out like this. Look at it. So growing up, we used to call this part the poo of the ngolo. But now, and as, as an adult, I think they will be like the intestines. What do you think they are? I don't know what they are, but I know that we do not eat them. This part exactly that I'm cutting out. So you cut it out. You cut those parts out. Look at it. And then throw, throw, the, throw them away. Rinse your ngolo. And then put in your soup when you are cooking. So ngolo is like the cousin to periwinkle. Remember periwinkle that we usually used to cook? It's some. Yes, it's like the, it's like the cousin. And then ngolo is in the snail family. It looks like a snail, but it is small. And it is not slimy. It is not as slimy as the um, snail. To me, it's not even slimy at all. As you're removing, you don't get, you don't, there's no slime in this, this particular species that I, I, I bought. And this is the type they sell in Nigerian markets. So when you go to the market, just say you want to buy ngolo and they'll give it to you. Don't tell the market woman welk. Oh. They, do, they don't know what welk is. They will not know at all. So this is ngolo. So ngolo is a great source. It has a great source of um, protein. It is highly proteinous. And then it has iron. It contains potassium. It also contains copper. Wow. It contains zinc. Excellent for men. It contains vitamin, vitamin E, excellent for women and men, children, everybody. And then it also contains vitamin B12. Have you ever used ungolo in your soup before? I'm going to show you how I used it in my okra soup. It is fantastic and excellent. So now this particular one is a small one. Look at this one I just removed now. It's a small one. So I could use my finger. You could use your finger instead of using the knife. If you are scared of the knife, maybe it will cut you. Uh, hey, you can use your 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 finger. So this is how it looks. Oh yeah, now bye. <laughs>